Hello, people, and welcome back. Well, what should I say? Welcome for the first time to World of Warships. This is a big game. Not laggy all of a sudden. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a smooth video running at 30 frames per second. Ooh, because I've limited it to 30 frames per second. And occasionally it drops down to 28 or something like that. As you can see in the FPS counter, I put in the top right hand side of the screen for no apparent reason, but it shall throw 60 or 58 or something on your side. Because for some reason, that's what it likes to do. Anyway, I'm going to have to split these videos up into 10 minute chunks, as, as you can see, I'm only using the free version of the uh, Bandicam at the moment. Uh, I'm hoping to get something that can record more than 10 minute chunks, because 10 minute chunks aren't particularly useful for me. But, in the meantime, let us go and battle. So... We are in the game. I skipped so that we are kind of in the game. We have four seconds before we can move. The battleship I am currently using is the Action Tier Station. 2 Chikuma, which is the Japanese second ship you unlock after the uh, little... I think it's a destroyer. No, it's, they're all cruisers. The first one to get all cruisers. But I, I like this because I get a crap ton of guns. So we're going to go... I think best plan would be to go Autopilot mode under enabled. the cover of this and then like, pop around this way and see if we can get around here and then possibly back there because we're going to take damage going through there. But that's pretty much already predetermined. Autopilot mode disabled. We'll slow down the tad with this. Hit this guy if we don't. Set our all the water plan up here. Autopilot mode enabled. Just so we know that we are heading in the right direction when we aim at things. And then we go to uh, When we come around there, we're going to be paying facing back. Turned in that direction, and uh, this Chester seems to really want to ram me. So I don't know what he's going for, but he's seriously autopilot mode disabled. Dude, watch out! Flipping hell! Watch out! He's taking damage, you know. <laughs> Crikey! That was uh, unexpected. <laughs> Is keeping me on the edge of my seat, providing quality entertainment. Sorry, I'm having to check the time of the video right now. I don't have three minutes. Cutting this up to ten minute chunks and then compiling it together is going to be extremely difficult. So this is going to be gaps where I have to uh, pop in and it may be a little bit rough around the edges in terms of uh, popping in and out of the video. This is going to be someone on radar soon. It looks like Wix is the best ship in it, and everything else is a tier 2, so this could be a pretty difficult battle.
actually get this guy. If I get another volley up. Get another volley up. Oh. Torpedoes to port. Hello. Chester back here. Good Okay, I am recording again. The game is recording again. I'm back. Blah blah blah. We've got another 10 minute to play to go. And I'm probably not going to be editing this together with a particular grace. Um, because as, as, as I said, I've just got the computer. I have no idea if you're editing something else like that. Uh, but it does mean that I'm going to this. I may tell you about this as well. I'm excited. Skirting away from us here. Yeah, that guy's gonna get killed before he gets to him, so he deserves it anyway. He did most of the damage. I'm assuming, anyway. Yeah, this Takuma is literally on the other side of the island and waiting to me the entire time. That guy's gonna go around and get him, most likely. But this looks like a game for us, so. That's good. doesn't love the music. <laughs> oh, look, we've got our first visual. And it's dead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, there we go. I got a lot of money for that one. Fine for causing damage to allies. Compensation for damage caused by... Yeah, right. He freaking drove right, right in front of me and I was about to drive into land. You should have been the one paying <laughs> uh, ooh, we can get the tier two in the Kazi. 
which is a uh, destroyer. Unless it's torpedoes. We can do that. Nice. Yes. And we can purchase it. Well, then we have to start taking this now. So that is a boost. This is a smoke grip generator. A torpedo is on three. Get an extra hull, which gives us some anti-aircraft guns, more maneuverability, slightly less artillery guns, more survivability, one more main turret, but it probably means that we go. Okay, good. And better torpedoes. Okay, looks good. So, uh, here we go. That was, uh, my first World of Warships video using the Tier 2 Tukuma. Very good ship, actually. I really, really like the Tukuma. Uh, it's my favourite ship I've unlocked so far. Uh, I prefer it over the Chester, um, simply for the fact that, well, earlier on the Chester was really useless. Right now it's kind of useful because its cannons are pretty powerful and, you know, it's got... I think it's got slightly worse. Yeah, it's less survivable, less artillery, but I get a feeling it's more maneuverable. Uh, more, no way, it's less maneuverable, but more concealed. But I get a feeling as soon as we get these, that's really gonna. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Chikuma is just better in, on average, I think. So yeah, if you're gonna go for anything, I'll advise you go down the Japanese tree and get the Chikuma before you get the Chester. Then again. To get the uh, Chikuma B, it does actually take a lot of research points, which uh, the Chester doesn't. So it's better better for cheaper things, but, uh, you know. We'll do the Chester next time, then we'll switch back to the Tier 1s. Um, but anyway, thank you for sticking around. Uh, wait, that's my Twitch thing. Thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a like, favorite, and or subscribe if you enjoyed watching. And, of course, recommend it to your friends if you're that kind of person who does that kind of thing. But at the same time, thank you, and I will see you all in the future. Goodbye.